I'm a teenager, and I've been involved in scouting, Boy Scouts, for nearly all my life. I love exploring with my friends and the growing trust that comes with age. A few years ago, two girls named Amy and Harriet, along with myself, were asked to venture into the woods surrounding our campsite to find a long, straight stick suitable for carving into a point. It's important to note that I was much younger at the time. Harriet was older than me, and Amy was only a year older. We walked deliberately in the same direction so as not to get lost, and we tried to memorize our surroundings to find our way back easily. After about 15 minutes, we couldn't find a suitable stick, so we decided to turn around and head back to the campsite. That's when we started to panic. The trees seemed to have unnaturally intertwined themselves, making our path disappear as if it never existed in the first place. Everything looked the same in a 360-degree view. Trees that we thought were different from one another now appeared as copies of the same tree. We continued walking, thinking we were going in the right direction, while shouting for help. Eventually, we stumbled upon a concrete path, almost like a thin road, that divided the forest into two parts. We didn't follow the road because it led in the wrong direction from our campsite. On the other side of the path, we found more forest, but nearby there was an abandoned shack, likely used for storage or something else. Surprised by its presence in these woods, we continued walking. Eventually, we reached a road that we didn't recognize. A woman wearing a pink and purple regatta outdoors coat walked past us, and we anxiously asked her for directions to our campsite. By then, according to our watches and Harriet's phone, we had been walking for an hour and a half. The woman said she had never seen us before but pointed us in the direction of another campsite. We followed her advice and eventually made it back to our own campsite. We apologized frantically for taking so long and explained that we couldn't find what we were looking for. Our leader, Ian, noticed that all three of us were shaken up and expressed his confusion, saying that we had only been gone for 25 minutes and that our free time was still ongoing. To this day, it baffles all three of us because our given free time was 40 minutes, and our watches and phones indicated that we had been gone for hours. The forest we were lost in felt overwhelming and suffocating, as if we had entered an area where the concept of time didn't apply. I believe in the paranormal, but this experience was unlike anything I had heard or experienced before. It really felt like we had entered a time warp, where time in the forest passed much faster than in the outside world. The feeling was so strange and stayed with me throughout the entire camp.